Hey, nerdlings! What up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for video games? Monthly. Hey, nerdlings! It's your girl, JLove81, and you're watching Do You Nerd? I don't know if this tops Christmas, so maybe this is the second best time of the month, guys. But it is Video Games Monthly Time. December edition! <laughs> Let's get into this. Hey, look. E is on my shirt and your shirt. It's, it's the three Floyds. It's like we like them or something. <laughs> so, virtual goats milking is all <laughs> <laughs> Video Games Monthly is a monthly subscription service that gets retro games straight to your door. You go online, you pick which systems you want, you populate a list of all the games you already have so they do not send you any duplicates and they will start shipping them out if you're interested in stuff from the Atari or Intellivision days all the way up to the Wii U or PS3, they've got you covered. And then when you're done playing them, you send them back. Nope, no. because you get to keep these in your home and in your hearts forever. Now, something that Lady Lacey likes to do is hand the games off blindly to me to surprise me. We subscribe to the three games a month box, but sometimes they like to throw us a few extras in there just to make back your of the gift. day gamer mad. This is your gift. <laughs> So something else that they like to do is put in some fun little freebies. And this month we have a 2020 calendar and it's a magnet. So we are ready. What we can do is put this on the fridge and circle all the days when our new game should be here. Here is the card that says win three free games. They're always doing fun giveaways, by the way, guys. Not just these, but all the times. If you uh, check them out on Twitter and social media, and Instagram, they're Facebook. always posting, you know, do this, do this. You could win a free game. Yeah, just take a picture and uh, you could win some games. Update your list card. That's right. So don't forget. So you don't get duplicates. All right. We did not get a one up. We didn't get a two up. We must have got Tony's box. We didn't get any ups. We got a power up. Are you serious? Yeah. Nice power up. Congratulations. You have received many free games. Thank you for being a video games monthly subscriber. Well, you're welcome. Hey, you are welcome. Thank you for sending us fun games. Okay, sweet. That's awesome. I think this is the first time we've ever gotten a power up. This is very awesome. I'm excited. All right. <laughs> the first game we have is a vroom vroom game. So we got a racing game. We did get a racing game, and it is from The Cube. So GameCube Need for Speed Underground, first of all. So apparently this is Goose and Maverick's favorite game. The Need for Speed. All right, so we have... The instruction booklet, the uh, the extra insert on the inside, the precautions, and the outer sleeve. Now it is the player's choice. I don't care about that. It doesn't matter really to me. Uh, it's not a Nintendo GameCube case, but the disc is in there, and it looks really nice. The Need for Speed games are actually really fun. First of all, they always look so gorgeous. They're they're fun games. They always have um, usually like a, an extra hook. To just racing like there's something more that you do you know whether it's like crash into other cars or everything <laughs> that's always a good thing but i think they're also real big on like customization all right well we're going to uh, keep the nintendo love going with a super nintendo game yes. out in outer space <laughs> it's a video game outer space does not nar narrow that one down but we have invade your space. oh space invaders nice yeah i remember a time in the 90s when uh like every old property was new again they kept bringing stuff back and uh space invaders was one of that so this probably has like some nice fancy graphics i'm just hoping it has the classic like gameplay like yeah. i'm hoping they didn't try to change it up or anything uh, because, I mean, Space Invaders is just fun. Of course, we've been having a lot of fun with Space Invaders when we've been hitting up some arcades. They have that, that big, giant Space yes. Invader, so, and you got the gun, and you're, you know, sitting in the chair, so we've been having fun with that. 
By the way, I love the Super Nintendo, so getting any Super Nintendo games is always awesome for me. All right, keeping the Nintendo love alive with a teeny tiny Game Boy Advance game. Ooh, game Boy Advance. Nice. I like that. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Ooh. So this is probably like a brawler or a beat-em-up, and this will be all too easy to play on that GameCube player, so I don't have to be all lurched over a teeny <laughs> tiny screen I can play it on the TV. Um, the only issue is with Game Boy Advance, would there be co-op at all? Because I would like if you could play too. Because that's the fun part about yeah. playing a Ninja Turtle game, is having a buddy mm -hmm. with you. More Nintendo love with the Game Boy. A nice yellow cartridge. Uh, okay. Pretty sure they would not send a Pokemon game. So that's got to be a Donkey Kong game because mm -hmm. they did those banana yellow. What can, which Donkey Kong game do you think we've got here? Uh, I I don't even remember. It's I a feel sequel. like. Well, then it's two or three because I think there were three on Game Boy game like Donkey Kong Land. Two. I was gonna say I don't think they called them Country Land. So yeah, nope. I can't remember. I think we have one, but uh, nice. I loved the Donkey Kong Country games on Super Nintendo. But I didn't play a whole lot of handheld games, so I never got to play these. First of all, there's a bit of heft to this. That that might be kind of fun just to open up and see why it's so much heavier. It's in pretty decent condition. And this is one of those Super Game Boy game packs, so you get maybe a little extra border or something with that one. Well, this, nice. is, this entire box this is a Nintendo is box. They should have called oh. it the Nintendo Power Up. <laughs> but uh, this one is a blue cartridge from Japan in 1984, and it is a um, family computer. So I was going to say Famicom? Yes. When he said blue at first, I kept thinking N64, but okay. Nope. It is a very cutesy uh, pictures on the front of it. Yeah, uh, well, it's Japan. Oh, nice! Devil World. I Sweet. love that Sweet. Okay. So Devil World is uh, it's a Miyamoto game. It's interesting. Well, first of all, I don't know what this guy is. He's got a T on his hat. That's that's interesting. He looks like a sailor. It, yeah, it's like a Mario Sailor Scout or something. Like he, he's probably cussing like a sailor too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Devil World, it's kind of like Pac-Man. Okay. All right. So it was like Miyamoto's version of Pac-Man, okay. except. You've got this guy, a little dragon thing, and I think, I think you can like kill little demons or something, but the weird thing is, this devil, mm -hmm. he stands at the top of the screen, and you've seen him as a trophy in Smash, and he's the one who'll like, oh, yeah. like point this way, familiar. or point this way, and he moves the screen in Smash, that's exactly what he does on this. Okay. That's kind of like the one of the big changes to the Pac-Man formula, because you only have so much of the maze that you can get to, but he will move the screen around, and then you can't get to certain parts, or you'll get smushed by the stupid screen. <laughs> but it's it's just kind of a fun, neat change-up to Pac-Man. This is going to be a lot of fun. Pretty sure this never made it to America, because Nintendo used to be very, let's not put any religious symbols in our games. Mm, uh, does, I see the cross So, there. yeah, they're going to avoid the whole devil part anyway, and even if they change the name, they can't, you know, like, get rid of the devil. But yeah, there are crosses aplenty in this. I think there might even be like little Bibles or something in there. And yeah, Nintendo back in the day is a big no-no. <laughs> All right, the last game that you've so, got okay. is a uh, another Nintendo game, and it's from across the pond, and it's one of your favorite franchises. So Zelda? Yes. It was Zelda or Final Fantasy. I saw that it was a 64 cart and I knew there wasn't a Final <laughs> Fantasy one. I'm thinking this is, this has got to be Ocarina of Time. That label art I'm going off of. It looks like I, a Warshack test. It kind of does. <laughs> what do you see here, Ganon? <laughs> well, this Annoying is... Annoying little fairy that keeps whispering in my ear. <laughs> so, hey, listen. This is very cool. And We've been enjoying getting the Japanese Nintendo 64. We games. have. And the nice thing is with something like Zelda, I mean, as long as you can kind of figure out, you know, what means yes and no so the owl doesn't repeat himself. <laughs> but once you figure that out, in all honesty, you could still play through the game 
even though you can't read any of the text, or I can't read any of the text. That makes me think of the Jumanji game movie where they don't ask the right questions and the <laughs> person just keeps repeating himself. I think he's an NPC. Welcome to Jumanji. This will be fun because with the Japanese games that came out to America, of mm -hmm. course, it's always neat to go back through if you're familiar enough and look for like little differences like oh they use this texture here or oh they move this guy over here stuff like that you noticed a lot of that in chrono trigger i did <laughs> she was laughing at me but this will be very cool and since we did not have the japanese version in our collection already with it being zelda i'm super stoked to have yes. that you know if for no other reason just just to have you know both with copies now. Well, this was an awesome box. It was. And yeah, wow, it really was a Nintendo box, wasn't it? They, uh, they went all was Nintendo. out. That is cool. That's fine by me. I love our Nintendo stuff. And I love, oh man. I mean, nothing against Need for Speed on the GameCube, but I always love getting the, <laughs> the cartridge yeah. stuff. So this is very much a power Yeah, it was. Box. Holy Are cow. you going to turn into a beast now? Nope, because no. that's Sega. So? That's it. You're fired. <laughs> You're fired! You're fired. You're bringing Sega into a Nintendo space. But it says power up. That's all I think of whenever you say power up. <laughs> well, I think we only have one more thing that's kind of for you and J-Love. All right, girl. Let's do this. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Well, nerdlings. Give the video a like if you happen to like it. Let us know in the comments down below what you think of any of these games, uh, especially if you've ever played Devil World, because that's that's cool. I like getting like Miyamoto's uh -huh. older stuff because, yeah. you know, back in the day when you really had to had to prove yourself, you had to shake things up and do things differently. And let me know about Donkey Kong Land 2 here, Peter Bateman. Waiting to hear something from you about that. It's Donkey Kong. You're everything Donkey Kong, right? <laughs> anyway, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and check the description down below if you want to get your own box of VGM. Maybe tell them, do you nerd sent you? Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for those closer upper pictures to know what we're doing out and about in the real world and to know what's going on next because we got all kinds of things going on. It's true. Don't forget to go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there on that little website. And nerdlings, if we like it. We Nintend it. Sorry. Sometimes I get excited and saying things I didn't Nintendo. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh, and the other thing is, I don't think, pretty sure, you don't make a noise. Uh -huh. Okay.